Hello, Dr. Mark. Today I'll present my topic about one of Africa's fabulous country, which is Sudan. But before I go to that, let me begin by saying a quick fact about the youngest history on Earth. That is South Sudan. In 2011, Sudan broke into two countries. As you can see, those are Sudan and South Sudan. Sudan is located in the north eastern region of Africa and the name Sudan derives from the Arabic codes Bilad as Sudan meaning land of the blacks and before it spreads into two countries it was the largest country in Africa the one thing about Sudan you need to know though is that it's always been at this cultural crossroads between the Arabic Islamic Middle East African traditional culture to the south and Mediterranean uh, culture to the north. As you can see, those are some quick information about Sudan, the capital, largest city, official language, and so on. And that takes us to the main points that will be presented to you. Those are Kingdom of Kush and Khalifa House Museum. Khartoum, the capital, and some of the Sudanese culture. The story of those country ancient, has ancient roots, the ancient kingdom of Kush. Sudan has a history very much entwined with ancient Egypt. Both of them followed the Nile River, as you can see, Egypt and Kush here. So Sudanese people have always had this cultural relationship with Egyptian. And so the earliest sources that we have about Sudan come from ancient Egypt. The word Kush even comes from the ancient Egyptian word for ratchet people. With that being said, Sudan did have a lot of influence from ancient Egyptian culture and their language as their, as their religion. As you can see in this picture, also these are some statues made for Nubian or Kush people, and this is for the Egyptian ancient uh, people. A lot of the Egyptian gods were actually worshipped in the ancient Kush as well, along with the trade that happened between them. A lot of the gold went to Egypt, came from the ancient kingdom of Kush as well. Kushite soldiers were, were a large a part of the Egyptian military, you might also hear them refer as Nubian in history books. And as you can see, this is some of the uh, picture of the Nubian uh, people. This story relationship, this strong relationship between Egyptian and Nubian civilization improved Nuba until they become independent and started their own. Let me take you through some of the landmarks. So as you can see, the first one will be related to this kingdom of Kush. That is the pyramids. But when we think of pyramids, we think of Egypt, which as we see here, are pyramids of Giza. But actually, there was more of, of pyramids in Sudan. Uh, the reason that we don't hear about those pyramids is that They've been overshadowed by the civil war between a Sudan and the South Sudan. The, but there is a huge uh, difference between those pyramids. As you can see, these pyramids are much smaller in size, but brick built too. And as I told you, those are some uh, pictures that you can see there is a huge difference between those two. And then that leads us to my second point of the presentation, which is Khalifa House Museum. Is it is located in Omdurman city. Omdurman city, if you noticed before, it was the largest city of Sudan, where there were where historic battle and sieges took place. The reason behind it was that British conquered Egypt at the time. And Sudan itself was conquered by Egypt. So when the time came from the British army to come over Khartoum state, 
there were uh, there were the general Muhammad Ahmad who is referred as Al Mahdi. After his victory, Muhammad Ahmad became the ruler of the most part of what is now Sudan and established a religious state. And his house, as you can see, uh, remained it as a museum. Those are some of the things that happened back then. As you can see, those are some of the guns, some of the equipment, vehicles, and this is actually a picture of a soldier that happened to be in the uh, battle that happened between the British Army and uh, Muhammad Ahmed's uh, force. And then that takes us to the next point, which is Khartoum. Khartoum, the capital of Sudan, located in the heart of Sudan, is where the Nile enters its final form. If you can see in the picture here, this is the white Nile, and this is the blue Nile, joining together in Khartoum and forming the Nile itself. And then uh, the white Nile, uh, came from Ethiopia and the Blue Nile came from the Lake of Victoria. And so Khartoum is one of the largest city with a population of 10 million people. It has the National Museum, it has the University of Khartoum and some landmarks that you must visit if you went to Khartoum city. And that takes us to the next point which is some of the culture of Sudan. Sudanese people, as you can see here, are always full of joy. They like to dance, they like to sing, and celebrate their time together whenever they have social activities. And as you can see, those are the native customs in here, and uh, I guarantee you will have a, a joy of time if you went and visited them, and that takes us to the conclusion. So, Sudan has a very young and ancient history, and if you wanted to visit Sudan, I would recommend you to visit the Nubian Pyramids, Khalifa's House Museum, and take around in the beauty of Khartoum as Nile would form in front of your sight over here. Thank you for your visit.